The small town of Willowbrook nestled peacefully in the heart of the countryside, its charm amplified by the serene backdrop of rolling hills and a lazy river that meandered through the valley. The townsfolk were close-knit, their lives intertwined like the ivy that climbed the white picket fences surrounding their homes. Yet, this idyllic picture was soon shattered by a series of bizarre and gruesome murders that sent shockwaves through the tight community. It was a chilling wake-up call that no one could have anticipated. The first victim was found in the early hours of a cool autumn morning. Mrs. Eleanor Harrison, a kindly widow who had lived in Willowbrook her entire life, was discovered lifeless in her quaint cottage on Elm Street. Her murder was unlike anything the town had ever seen. Her throat had been brutally slit, and a grotesque symbol, etched deep into her flesh, sent shivers down the spine of anyone who saw it. The symbol was an intricate design, resembling a twisted combination of ancient runes and hieroglyphs. It was entirely unfamiliar to the local authorities, leaving them bewildered and disconcerted. Sheriff Daniel Stevens, a seasoned lawman who had never encountered such a horrifying crime in his career, was determined to bring the perpetrator to justice. As the days passed, more victims were added to the growing list. Each murder was executed with an uncanny precision, yet the motive remained a perplexing enigma. The town's peaceful atmosphere transformed into an atmosphere of fear and paranoia. Whispers of a malevolent presence, a dark force that had descended upon Willowbrook, spread like wildfire. Fear had a way of binding people together, and in Willowbrook, it was no different. As the bodies piled up, the townsfolk, once content with their quiet lives, were forced to confront a menace that threatened to unravel the fabric of their existence. The town hall, a sturdy old building with time-worn wooden beams and creaky floors, became the hub of activity. Sheriff Stevens, accompanied by his trusted deputy, Sarah Patterson, addressed the anxious crowd. The room was filled with faces etched with worry, and the flickering candlelight cast eerie shadows across the gathering. We cannot allow fear to divide us, Sheriff Stevens declared, his voice firm and resolute. We must unite, as a community, to catch this murderer before they strike again. Murmurs of agreement rippled through the room. The townsfolk understood the gravity of the situation. They had no choice but to rely on each other. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting long shadows over Willowbrook, a group of concerned townsfolk gathered in the town hall to form a neighborhood watch. They had decided to take matters into their own hands, convinced that the answers to the gruesome murders lay within the community itself. Leading the charge was Emily Carter, a retired schoolteacher known for her unwavering determination. She had lost her niece, Lily, to the murderer and her grief had transformed into a burning resolve to bring the culprit to justice. We can't rely solely on the sheriff's office, Emily stated firmly. We need to be vigilant and look out for each other. We'll keep watch every night until we catch this monster. The group, composed of concerned parents, veterans, and even the town's reclusive librarian, Mr. Walter Finch, agreed. They formed a rotating roster, taking turns patrolling the town's darkened streets. Armed with flashlights and an unwavering commitment to protect their loved ones. Meanwhile, Sheriff Stevens and Deputy Patterson continued to investigate the murders. They scoured the crime scenes for clues, interviewed witnesses, and consulted with experts from neighboring towns. Each victim's past was scrutinized, and connections between the victims were sought. The enigmatic symbol remained their only tangible lead. With each passing day, the weight of the unsolved murders bore down on the town like a dark cloud. The streets grew quieter, 
and the once thriving shops now stood empty. Fear had a way of paralyzing even the most vibrant of communities. Amidst the turmoil, a series of dark secrets began to surface. Small town life, it seemed, had concealed more than its fair share of mysteries. One evening, as the neighborhood watch conducted their patrols, Emily Carter stumbled upon a hidden room beneath the town's old library. The room was filled with dusty tomes and ancient manuscripts, and in its center lay a map, its parchment frail and yellowed with age. The map bore the same eerie symbol found on the murder victims. Emily immediately alerted Sheriff Stevens, who recognized the symbol as an occult emblem associated with a long-forgotten local legend. According to the legend, an ancient evil had been imprisoned beneath Willowbrook, and the symbol was said to be the key to unleashing it. As Emily and the sheriff delved deeper into the town's history, they discovered that the symbol had appeared before, generations ago, during a series of unexplained deaths. The town's elders had managed to suppress the evil, or so the story went. But the memory had been erased from the collective consciousness of Willowbrook. The discovery sent shockwaves through the town. It seemed that the murders were not the work of an outsider, but rather someone who knew the town's darkest secrets. The question remained, who among them had unearthed the forbidden knowledge and was using it to commit these heinous crimes? As the town's secrets began to surface, suspicion and paranoia spread like wildfire through Willowbrook. Friends questioned friends, and neighbors eyed each other with newfound wariness. The once tight-knit community was unraveling, torn apart by fear and uncertainty. Sheriff Stevens and Emily, now working closely together, realized that the key to solving the murders lay in identifying who had accessed the hidden room beneath the library. They embarked on a mission to track down anyone who might have had knowledge of the room's existence. Their investigation led them to a retired historian named Samuel Wilkins, a man who had spent decades researching the town's history. Samuel, who had been absent from the neighborhood watch meetings, proved elusive and his home was filled with ancient tomes, maps, and relics. It was evident that he possessed knowledge far beyond what anyone else in town did. Confronted by the sheriff and Emily, Samuel reluctantly admitted to having discovered the hidden room years ago. He had been drawn to its mysteries and had spent years deciphering the symbols and legends. However, he vehemently denied any involvement in the murders. Despite his denials, Samuel became the prime suspect. The town, gripped by a collective hysteria, demanded justice. As tensions mounted, it became clear that Willowbrook was teetering on the brink of chaos. The situation in Willowbrook reached a breaking point as the townsfolk, consumed by fear and anger, gathered outside Samuel's home. They were determined to take matters into their own hands and deliver swift justice. Sheriff Stevens and Emily, aware of the mob's intentions, rushed to Samuel's defense. They pleaded with the crowd for patience and calm, insisting that Samuel was not the true culprit. Their pleas, however, fell on deaf ears. Just as it seemed that violence would erupt, a hooded figure emerged from the shadows, stepping forward to reveal themselves. It was Lily, the niece of Emily Carter, the first victim's relative, who had perished at the hands of the murderer. Lily confessed that she had discovered Samuel's secret years ago and had become obsessed with the power she believed was hidden beneath the town. She had been driven to madness, convinced that unleashing the ancient evil would grant her unimaginable power. Using Samuel's knowledge, she had committed the gruesome murders, hoping to complete a dark ritual that would unlock the evil's full potential. The symbol carved into the victims had been the key. 
Emily was devastated to learn that her own niece was the perpetrator. Lily's desperation for power had led her down a dark and twisted path, and she had lost her humanity in the process. In a climactic showdown, Lily attempted to complete the ritual, but Sheriff Stevens, Emily, and the town's remaining citizens intervened. In a desperate struggle, they managed to thwart her plans and put an end to the nightmare that had gripped Willowbrook. With Lily's capture, the town of Willowbrook began the slow process of healing. The community, once fractured by fear and suspicion, came together to support one another. They realized that their strength lay in their unity, and they were determined to rebuild the bonds that had been torn apart. Lily, now imprisoned and stripped of her powers, was a haunting reminder of the darkness that could take hold when secrets festered. The hidden room beneath the library was sealed, its knowledge deemed too dangerous for anyone to access. Sheriff Stevens, Emily, and the townsfolk were determined to move forward to ensure that the horrors of the past would never resurface. They vowed to protect their town, not just from external threats, but also from the secrets that lay buried beneath its streets. In time, Willowbrook began to regain its sense of peace. The scars of the past remained, but the town's resilience and the bonds of its people grew stronger. They had faced their darkest fears and emerged victorious, proving that even in the face of unspeakable horrors, the human spirit could triumph. And so, life in Willowbrook returned to a semblance of normalcy, forever changed by the Enigma murders, but determined to face the future with hope and unity.